the M60 E4. Welcome guys, Ace the Gamer bringing out another weapons guide video and today I have for you guys a free for all gameplay here. I'll be using the M60 E4 like I said and if you guys do enjoy this type of video please don't forget to smack that like button and without further ado let's get right into it. The M60 E4, it is a light machine gun that is featuring Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare Remastered. This is one of my favorite LMGs because it does a very nice damage multiplier for the head of 1.4 and 1 for chest and limb. In the campaign, the M60E4 is available briefly in the campaign of Call of Duty Modern Warfare appearing only at the end of the level game over. The enemy carrying it jumps out of passenger side of the first truck that is transporting troops to the battle which is you know during the campaign if you guys kind of want to know that little nice trivia. But in multiplayer, the M60E4 is unlocked at level 19. It can be equipped with a red dot sight, a grip, or a cock scope. I highly suggest you guys to, you know, to equip some sort of, you know, scope because this weapon has a very, very horrible iron sight. The M60E4 is the most powerful sub, I mean, a uh, most powerful machine gun in the multiplayer with one of the highest damage output per shot in the game. But it has a high recoil and a low rate of fire. Compared to the M249 saw or the RPD, it is often used with double tap or stop and power perks. I suggest you guys use stop and power because this gun, it feels like you shoot at the enemy, you get a few hit marks but you don't get that much kills. But during like a little long range, you will get a lot of kills in that. A unique property of the M60E4 is that it suffers damage drop off at range. Like I was saying, if you guys want to do, you know, get kills from far distance, you're going to pretty much have to burst fire the enemy. There's no way of, you know, trying to go fully automatic like a, you know, a traditional type of machine gun. You should go like it's fully automatic get a kill, but this gun has a very bad recoil. So this is unusual, okay, as neither the M249 saw or the RPD suffer this, although it is likely for balance due to the M60E force potential for a two-shot kill. If used in hardcore, it will kill in one shot at any range regardless of whether your enemy is using Dragonaut or behind cover. That's what it pretty much, you know, a nice little um, perk that you get with the weapon during hardcore. You're going to get automatic kills really, really quick as long as you aim down a sight before you see the enemy, which is going to be pretty much cool. However, like all the light machine guns in the game, it has a large belt capacity of 100 rounds but also suffer from its low reload time of nearly 10 seconds. This is you guys can pretty much watch out of how you use a weapon because the gun does reload very, very slowly. It's ridiculous. Because usually, if you don't have side of hand on, this gun is gonna reload, you know, very, very slow. And it's pretty sad, you know, because if you don't have side of hand, enemy could pop up and anywhere and just kill you because the gun reloads so, so slow. That's, that's one thing I don't like about this weapon is that the reload capacity and also the iron sights. Those are my two complaints with the, with the weapon. But if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smack that like button. Ace again here. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and peace out.